What's up everyone, this is Simi. In this video, I'm going to try to break down the alternate hand crisscross move so you can follow along. It has such a wonderful rhythm and it's my most favorite jump rope move. The forearms cross and uncross in front of the body, alternating between the right and the left forearm. As one of my workshop attendees once said, Simi, there's about 30 different things you have to keep thinking about when you're jumping rope. And there's a lot of truth in that statement. But as I show you how to do these advanced moves, you're really building on the simpler moves that I've shared in previous videos with you. Keeping the spine long from the top of the head to the tailbone, ears in line with the shoulders, the neck neutral, and the eyes looking forward. We will begin by training the elbows to stay by our side. Grab a strap or a scarf, even PJs will do. Make a loop and slip your arms into it behind your back. The loop should rest in your elbow crease and immobilize your upper arms. Since the move is powered by the forearms and the wrists, the upper arms are not invited to the party. Once your body understands the mechanics of this move, the harness will no longer be needed. It is important to keep the spine aligned, so be mindful of your posture and use the sides of your neck to pull the head back and up in an imaginary diagonal line. Pick up your rope and make sure that it's not tangled. Begin with the rope in your right hand, the index finger separating the ends of the rope right where they join at the handle. Keep the wrist relaxed and make circles in a forward motion using the forearms to strike the rope with force on the ground. Next, turning the upper body, make circles in a backward motion on the left side. Once you connect a forward circle on the right side and a backward circle on the left, you'll be making a figure of eight in front of you. By pinning your elbow down, You'll have no choice but to generate the movement with your forearm and your wrist. In fact, leave me a comment and tell me if you found my unusual training method useful. Keep practicing so you're hitting the rope with the same intensity on both sides of the body. Now on to the left hand. Separate the two ends of the rope with your index finger and make circles in a forward motion, keeping the wrist very relaxed. Turning the upper body, make circles in a backward motion on the right side. Once you connect a forward circle on the left and a backward circle on the right, you'll be making a figure of eight in front of you. Now you're ready to overlap the figures of eight. Both hands begin with palms facing forward in starting position, which is roughly where you would put your hands in the pockets of your pants. Bring your right hand to your left elbow and the left hand to your right elbow. The handles of your rope should clear the elbows. Elbows stay on your side and close to the body. You're halfway through the move. Uncross your hands and bring them back to starting position. This time, bring your left hand to your right elbow and the right hand to your left elbow. The handles of your rope should clear the elbows. Elbows stay on your side and close to the body. Practice alternating your right and left forearms as you cross and uncross the rope several times. If you're unable to cross the rope at your elbows, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to make a video to improve back flexibility. Begin with a regular jump. The arms will be uncrossed. As soon as the rope comes down and you're jumping over it a second time, cross your forearms to bring the wrists in a figure of eight at opposite elbows. Avoid moving your elbows away from your body and crossing at the forearms. Doing so will not create the U-shape at the bottom and you will not be able to jump through. The cross and uncross pattern of the wrists essentially makes a vertical figure of eight pattern with the rope and you're weaving in and out of it. The key to mastering this move is to keep the elbows by your sides, keeping the upper body relaxed and not rushing to cross and uncross the rope. Start slow and practice bringing the same forearm in front as you cross each time. Once you're comfortable on one side, then practice with the other forearm in front. And finally, 
when you can do the move on both sides without having to think about the cross, uncross, cross, uncross, then layer alternating forearms and you will have conquered this move. Guys, I'm not an expert and my editing skills are not that great yet, but I really appreciate all the support you're showing me through your comments. If you're not already subscribed, smash those like and subscribe buttons and the notification bell so that you can catch my latest content as soon as it's on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching.